TV just yet. Alec and Bree have all the can't miss moments from the gridiron right now on Friday Night Football. Yeah, thanks, Warren. Up next on FNF, a playoff atmosphere. Number one ranked Buchanan traveled to San Joaquin Memorial, and it was a dog fight. Plus, Central looked to avenge last year's loss to Liberty in the Central Section Division I final. And two undefeated teams face off in Visalia. Find out who is entering league play a perfect 5-0. Friday Night Football is up after the break. California, this is ABC 30 Action News. Friday Night Football Edition. All the action from the high school gridiron, including scores, highlights, and deep-seated rivalries with Stephen Hicks, Bree Mellon, and Alec Nolan. Friday Night Football starts now. Hey guys, welcome to week five of Friday Night Football. All of tonight's scores can be found on the ticker on the bottom of your screen. I'm Bree Mellon, that is Alec Nolan. Stephen Hicks down in Los Angeles tonight. He'll have a report from the Coliseum later in the show, but Alec, two huge matchups in town. Yes, yeah, Central hosted Liberty. The teams met in the postseason last year, but let's start things off at Panther Stadium. San Joaquin Memorial looking to knock off 4-0 Buchanan. The Bears trail 21-3 just before the half. Cannon Campbell scores the first Buchanan touchdown heading into the locker room, and that would start the comeback. Third quarter, Carson Dean is intercepted by Augustus Remlinger, and he's in for the pick six. All gas, no breaks for the Bears. Jaden Mandel going to hand it off to Michael Runnels, and we say his name a lot. Shakes off a tackle, and it's full speed ahead. 57 yards for the touchdown and what a fight from Buchanan. They pull off the massive come from behind win to stay a perfect 5-0. And, oh. and out at Caligian Stadium, D1 Central Section Final rematch Grizzlies. Yeah, they want all the smoke. Low scoring a bear in the first half. Liberty's Jace Nixon is sacked by senior Caleb Shelton and he's fired up. The Grizzlies defense doesn't stop there. Later in the first quarter, Nixon with a perfect spiral, but it's to the wrong team. Braylon Hall says, thank you very much. Central will be forced to punt on the ensuing drive. Liberty finally gets it right to start the second quarter. Nixon gives it to Jalen Hankins, and he does the rest. Patriots on the board, 7-0. Central looking to answer the bell. Senior Dayton DeFoya airs it out to sophomore Dalen Scott. The Grizzlies. Forced to kick a field goal, though, and the Patriots would lead 7-3 at the break. And look at the score, folks. They would go on to win big, defeating Central 35-10. That is a big win. We head south down the 99. Broncos on the road, taking on Bakersfield. Clovis North's McKay Madsen up the middle, breaks a tackle, takes it to the house. Broncos on the board later in the second this quarter. This uh, alma mater, That Alec. is my alma mater. I didn't play football. <laughs> in the red zone, they hand the ball to Jackson Sinfil. He punches it in to extend Clovis North's lead to nine. After halftime, the drillers come out the gate motivated. Ty Montero finds a wide open Washington commit. Tybo Rogers, the future dog, takes it over 75 yards for a drillers touchdown not to be outdone. Clovis North goes to Madsen again. And he finds a hole, nobody gonna stop. Number three there, Clovis North beats down the drillers in the second half. They win 37 to 14. And coming up, Crothers looking to knock off another unbeaten team in Liberty of Madeira. Plus, Redwood upset Hanford last year. We'll find out who came out on top in this year's matchup. Friday Night Football is back after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Friday Night Football tonight, a tale of two unbeaten teams in the South Valley. CBC hosting Mission Oak, both the Cavs and the Hawks looking to start the year a perfect 5-0. Packed house out at Central Valley Christian. A lot of people coming to see that guy right there, Oregon commit Jaden Moore. Guy's a freak. Cavs open it up here. Max Backer finds Gunner Peepgrass in stride, and he is off to the races. Nothing but green grass makes it 21 to nothing. Just before the half, have dominate tonight, taking down Mission Oak 42 to seven to maintain that perfect five and zero. Hanford hosting Redwood at the Neighbor Bowl. Interesting walkout here. Someone is leashed right there. Where? Bullpups not <laughs> wasting any time. Opening drive, they move the sticks. Check out this strike from quarterback Daniel Gomez finds Kakoa Barnes for the touchdown. Hanford 
would go for two, but they were denied. Up 6-0 still, but Redwood has an answer. Francisco Alvarez airing it out to number eight, Reese Bueno. That is Mui Bueno. Wow. Number eight started wow. things off, so why not finish it? <laughs> Little misdirection here on the handoff. Bueno up the middle for six after the extra point. Rangers take the lead 7-6, and they would hold on, handing the Bullpups their first loss of the season, winning this one in overtime, Bree, on the road 26-20. Only OT game of the night. And this game is known as the Santa Fe Bowl. Merced hosting Atwater, and check out this Whoa, onside hot kick potato here. potato there. Merced somehow keeps this one in the field of play. Jalen Booth comes down with it, and that would pay off quarterback Car Carter Hogan finds a Darius Morales in the end zone. Touchdown Merced and the Bears would continue to roll later in the game. Running back Chase Smith finds a hole oh, he gone. and he says deuces. Merced dominates, takes it to Atwater 44 7. How about some Northwest Sequoia League play? Liberty in front by a touchdown. They score another to start the second quarter. Caleb Sisko punches in the four yard score and it's 13 0 Hawks. Blue Raider is not going down without a fight. Hunter Babb gets the rock, hugs the sidelines, finds the end zone, 28 yard score, plus a two point conversion. Blue Raiders trailing by 12. Liberty buckles down on defense. Colin Herkshorn is intercepted by the big man, outside linebacker Noah Bonilla. The Hawks would score on their ensuing drive. Look at him, nice return. Crothers would storm back to give them a score in the second half, but Liberty hangs on. They are now five and zero. Oh. Don't go anywhere, so plenty more to come on Friday Night Football. Coming up, everybody's favorite part of the show, the top plays of the week, and Bree Stephen Hicks has a report from the Coliseum about tomorrow's Fresno State versus USC matchup featuring plenty of past FNM stars. Was covered with the big game against USC tomorrow night, but he mentioned that the red waivers traveling down. I was at the game against USC, uh, UCLA uh, yes, last were. year, and it was just a sea of red. I know you know a ton of people going down there. Yeah, you know my parents have made these trips in the past. A lot of relatives. A lot of my friends are actually already there getting already ready. Already tailgating, getting after Already it. got the tailgating. I believe it was so packed they couldn't even get a ticket. So Ooh. let's hope that's a good sign. Yeah, if you're traveling down there, make sure to get there early. If not, once again, we'll have you covered with the highlights and post tomorrow night. Uh, going to be a great game. Bulldogs trying to bounce back yes. after that Oregon State loss. And that offense at USC, number one in the country right now, they've got so many transfers. And of course, when you've got Lincoln Riley, that's tough. That's tough. But and even more motivation to knock him off, right? It Seventh is. Frank. And like Hayner said there, he's been fired up all week. He yeah. says, what's the point of even playing unless we just go out there and prove it? So let's hope for some magic. Yes, let's see what they do tomorrow night. For now, I'm Brie Mellon. That's Alec Nolan. Thanks so much for watching us tonight. We'll leave you with some of the top plays from tonight, guys. Have a good night.